All right, let's continue the conversation. Says, host says yes, despite Bounty and Golden Bounty against state SOE. The House of Representatives voted yesterday to extend the State of Public Emergency SOE in the St. Andrew Police Division by another 90 days. Despite a appeal from opposition MP and P and PNP's leader aspirant Peter Bundy tend to end it. The final vote of 44 MPs in favor extended a two-week exercise by an additional three months, two against Bunton and Mark Golden, with 17 members absent. Um, uh, absent. So it's a, that, that at least 10 or 12, 29 opposition MPs favored opposition leader Dr. Phillips' position. That, while the SOE, SOE was not the best answer to crime situation, at least created a claim for bipartisan and cooperation on tackling the problem, the hell it has. But I'll not interject my full opinion right now. I have to prime Mr. Andrew Holden state that the start the debate. I mean that despite reductions in murders and shooting volumeers at Kingston Western and Kingston Western and St. Catherine North Police Divisions, as across several rural parishes, such as Westmoreland, Hannibal, St. Mary, Portland, Clarendon, and St. Thomas, the government was concerned with increases in areas at Kingston, St. Central, Kingston Eastern, St. Catherine South, and St. Andrew South, as well as the parish of St. James and Manchester. He know that nationally between January 1 and July 15 this year, there were 726 murders, similar number of shootings across nine police divisions. Police said that figures show that while the administrators were seeing results going in the right direction, so that was in some areas they were going in the wrong direction. It's instructed that we continue to use national effort to reduce crime and in particular continue to, to use the tool of state, so public emergency to do so, he noted. However, Bounty would have none of that, insisted that the SOEs were unconstitutional, Figures produced by a prime minister were evidence that they were not a very effective tool, as Holmes was suggesting. He claimed that the government had marked SOEs, SOEs to the public as the solution to crime, but although they were not, although they were, but they were not, although they fulfilled citizens need to feel safe. No, they didn't. I had to interject my opinion right there. Especially the crease was a boot on the ground. Boots on the ground, sir. Quote to quote, in fact, our strategy should focus on hot spots and hot people that are producing where the leaks are leaks bunting and system. Dr. Phillips agreed that the increased presence of security force offered the relief to the residents of the cram-torn area. Cram-torn areas. However, he said that it produced a balloon effect while, when while areas expanded, some areas was being squeezed in others. Or Phillips said that beyond the, that, there were lessons to be learned, including the need for intelligence-driven operations, which would lead to the takedown of the kingpins on the basis of collective intelligence and need to identify the targets and deal with them effectively. He also recommended it for the increased use of social intubation and the inclusion of institutions at the peace management initiatives and efforts. Dr. Phil's urge had or also urged governments to resume bipartisan discussions which have not been carried out since both parties met in January. Alright, and that's the end of the article. Basically, just, all this more back and forth and no, all talk, no action. And and then I said, the state's emergency, all of these mean that these are good is a horse and pony show for the most part because, yeah, in the presence of military and law enforcement has probably called, put some criminals on pause, giving them pause. But the thing is, nobody for the most part is being convicted. No one's being criminally charged, especially after these very dangerous criminals who, who obviously, who we all know are the lackeys and lapdogs of these politicians, other people in power. So. All it's doing is putting out to these very dangerous criminals and guards, but out uh, to these rapes, these murder, and so on are still happening. All right, there are these criminals just knowing when to lay low. By making SOEs public, is just causing criminals just to hide out until the heat dies on. Because when SOEs, which are done for political points, just admit that. When that dies down, the criminals are just going to come back out the right, hiding holes and resume duties as, as regular, normal. All right, so that's so. I'm basically I'm not I have no sides between the PNP and GLP because they're both sides of the same coin. They're both corrupt opportunists and they're full of agents. Um, in um, basically, so I'm not saying either side, but I'm just saying with SOE, just it's a horse and pony show, and it's just for political points. And yeah, they've done some little good, which is again just coincidental. It just basically is meant just to say, okay, we did some crime or gave the illusion we did, but none of these criminals, many of these criminals are not being convicted or put away. All right, so, and, but I've said this before in other recordings, so this will go on to the Jamaican Crimean. Check my YouTube pages, Miles Goosen Perrin and Miles Productions. All right.